Yo, my ninjas, what is up? What is good? Before this video starts, let's... Can we get this video to 5 likes, please? I would really appreciate that. And let me know what you guys thought about this video down below. How could I make this better? What did you guys like about it? Etc, etc. Let me hear y'all voices. Anyways, we are back at again with another video. Today, we are doing uh, how to play for Master Roshi. Which is... Basically, the name is in itself. The explanation is in itself. And I teach you guys how to play Roshi. Like what position you should put him on on your team what's the mix-ups you can do it's Oki what's his basic game plan stuff like that so yeah anyways I will see you in the video let's fuck it up okay so for starters he is a point slash middle character he really shines on point but you can play him mid for his assist, mainly for his mainly for his lockdown assist, or or his beam. You can play for either one, or his C assist if you like C assist. But I don't know. I mean, it's each the room, but. If you play him in the middle, you mainly play him with his D assist because his D assist has Mad Lockstun. He's the new Bardock. So basically, yeah, he's the new Bardock D assist. Has good lockdown shit. You can go for mix ups. So okay, let's put Frieza on block. See, Frieza blocking everything. So yeah, that's uh, that was, those are the, like the team positions you would you would have. To, you don't have to play Roshi on those positions. You can play an anchor, but he doesn't really get anything off of anchor. So those are like the two mainly main team positions you should play him on. Next up, we're gonna go over his like basic game plan. Okay, so his basic game plan is he wants to get in. Just like everybody else in Dragon Ball Hearts, he wants to get in. But he has tools that help him in neutral. He has his um 6S. Good control screen. He has his 2 214S. His unblockable anti-air. You catch people jumping in the air. Believe me, you will catch people jumping in the air because this is Dragon Ball Fighters and the jumping game is everybody's favorite game so you will catch people in the air and you can convert with super you can do Mafuba you can oh wait you can catch people slipping you can convert into his other super And you can tag Roshi out if you need to, or just dump all your meter and delete a character. Or... Pawn assist. And get damage that way. There are multiple ways for you to get damage with the, um, the Thunder Shock move. And that's pretty much it for the whole Thunder Shock move. For Roshi... Once you get in you have a lot of fucking options so like i said in the previous videos the ending of his light auto combo vacuums so you can go for a mix up like that make it real with assists throwing the command grab you get an air combo get a hard knockdown and that's how i usually play it so here i'm gonna show you guys an example of that right now Okay, so as you guys just saw, that was one of like his one of his ways to mix somebody up. The vacuum pulls the opponent closer. He hops over them, 
gets a side switch, the assist is used to like make it ambiguous and like make like make it so they can't see what side they're going on or what they're doing. And at, if they're still blocking, he hits them with the command grab, and then he goes for his um Oki. The elbow leads to Oki, and when the opponent pops up, they have to block. They have to get them blocked while they're getting hit. And then the cycle just continues. So that's one of his like um one of the basic like B and Bs you would be doing, or one of like the basic mix ups you would be doing with Roshi, depending on your assist. And also he has this. You can throw in that as a mix up too. So let me show you guys an example of that. Okay, yeah, so as you guys just saw, that's, that was another way to mix somebody up. You get in close, hit it with the, um, the command grab, the Thundershot command grab, and you saw how fast that shit was. He can cancel any one of his hits out of the second, the second auto combo, so any one of those hits he can cancel. And you see how fucking fast he cancels out of that, out of the, into the Thundershock, so that's another way to mix somebody up. They won't be expecting, if they're sleeping at the wheel, they won't be expecting either the the air command grab or the regular command grab. They won't be expecting any of that. And they were like, what the fuck is going on? And if they are, you can hit them that way. And if all that doesn't work, you can go with the tried and true tick throw. And get Oki that way. So he has a lot of options to like mix people up. He's very gimmicky. He's very gimmicky, but he's also very good. Like he does. I mean, you can rely on his gimmicks, but that will only get you so far. You got to mix up a little. He has layers to mix it up with, so you should be good. Anyways, he has also. The air, the air momentum. Like he is the only one in the game with this type of movement, and his movement, I wouldn't say is like the very best, but it's very, very strong. Because he has two hits, the beam and himself. They both count as a hit. They both have hit boxes. So, save the person was sleeping at the wheel. Boom. You gotta mix up that way, or. You just throw Roshi at him, and you can immediately act out of the the move. So he has very good air momentum, momentum. You can make him block as soon as you hit him. So, yeah. But the only disadvantage to that is if you miss or anything else, he's very vulnerable. After that, he's very vulnerable. Sure, he can press a button out of it, but he can get hit by Super Dash and just get deleted. So anyways, that's basically it. I will now show you guys how I play Roshi. I will show you guys like a clip of me. Of either, is it going to be a clip or clips of me playing Roshi to get to give you guys an idea of like how he's like mainly played? So, without further ado, here I'll go. Over here. Ready. Fight it out. This is it. There, all done. That's impossible. This is now. 
Okay, Ninjans, I hope you guys all enjoyed that little clip and got an idea of how he should be played. If you guys still, like, need help, you guys can comment down below if you guys still need help or don't know what to do with him. That's why I'm here. I'm here to help you guys, so if you guys need some advice, comment down below on what you guys need, or just comment what you thought about the video. Uh, Let's get this video to 5 likes, please. I would really appreciate that. And anyways, that's basically it. I hope all you niggas enjoy. I'll catch all you niggas later. Spangles.